Sir, can I please film this? Sir. Sir. It's like you know. It's like you know that I have to do something right now. If you see any type of like blue light behind me just randomly this is a fireplace well it's a fake fireplace but <laughs> it's a fireplace so if you see that like behind me just suddenly that's what that is and also if you hear um, noises throughout this video my cat is currently um, wanting to star in the show so you'll probably hear bag rustling like you are right now so yeah but if you hear any of that then it, that that he's he's doing his thing so today is november 6 2021 which means it's almost exactly a week uh past halloween i'm going to be doing a after halloween haul and the title is a little bit clickbaity because I know some people say like after Halloween haul like buying stuff after Halloween I did do that but um I also bought a ton of stuff during Halloween that I kind of just didn't have the time to after I bought it go through it put it up um October was a very uh uh words Morgan words a very busy month for me. I got married in October, so yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and get started with the stuff that I got after Halloween. One of the things that I got from Ross the other day, um, and I don't think this was on sale, but I think this was a good deal at least, because Ross has a ton of good deals, but um, I think this was like 10 bucks, but it's stackable uh mugs and it just has each mug has a different saying on it uh this top one says i'm dead inside this second one says death but be death before decaf this third one says bored to death and the last one says future ghost but i've been looking for stackable mugs for a long time and they're so expensive from what I've seen. So for 10 bucks, I was super happy about this. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna show you is some stuff that I got at Dollar Tree, or Dollar Tree, Dollar General the other day. This stuff was actually 50% off, um, but they had a pretty good selection for it being like after Halloween. I got um, these to-go cups um, because me and my husband like to take uh, coffee in the mornings to work so I figured we could use these all year round but I got these to go mugs um, and I got this one says candy is dandy but coffee is fantastic and then the next one I got says I like my coffee wicked and then the next thing that I got Okay, so I was really excited about these and really surprised that uh, they hadn't sold out yet. There were, I got three, they're the same mug but in three different designs and all, in total there were four mugs left but I got three unique designs out of the four that were there because the fourth one was a repeat. This first one that I got is this one. It's black and it says Wicked Without Coffee and it's orange on the inside. But these are just so freaking cute and 50% off. Like, I'm, I'm really surprised that they hadn't sold out yet. And then the next one that I got is orange on the outside and then black on the inside. And it says, a day without coffee is spooky. I love this one. And then the last design that I got, this one says, coffee is my magic potion. It's white on the outside, and the inside's white too, but it has a black rim. 
But yeah, these are so cute. I'm really surprised that they were there. And I'm pretty sure they were three bucks originally a piece. And I got them for $1.50 each, I think. So, I mean, it $1.50 each for these. I'm so surprised nobody had picked these up yet. So, really, really happy about that. So, the last thing that I got from... Hold on, my cat's being an asshole. Okay, so the last thing that I got from Dollar General was this cute little um, jar, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, you put like a little tea light in, but super, super cute. Okay, so the next things that I have um, are from Five Below, and I didn't buy this myself. I actually, actually, my husband bought this for me. Um, and surprised me with them because he knew that I wanted them really bad and I couldn't find them in store. They were all over TikTok from, well, on my For You page anyway. I don't know about anyone else, but uh, they're the Halloween Squish. Do you say it Mallow or Mallow? But I've got, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, different, uh, different squish ma- I'm gonna say mallow because that's what I've always said. So different squish mallows and this one is Grace the ghost and she's just a little ghost that says boo on the front and then we've got Zan the gnome, a little Halloween gnome. Oh from where- for, uh, heh words uh from shopping this year i noticed that halloween and gnomes have been a big thing uh this year from what i've seen um this is frankie he's cute he's got little hair uh let's see this is Paige the pumpkin and she's got hair as well she's got little pigtails and then this is Bella, the spider. She's got a little ponytail that is super cute. And this one is Reginald. <laughs> I love his name, Reginald. And he's a, what is this star breed? I always forget their name. Uh, I don't think it says, is it a Corgi? I think it might be a corgi, but it's Reginald, and he's a little devil, dressed up as a little devil. And then, um, this is Tally, the little vampire kitty. I think between the Halloween gnome, Zan, and, uh, Tally, between those, those two are some of my favorites, but. Okay, so the next place, I'm gonna have to stop doing this with my hands. Okay, so the next place that I went to after Halloween was Burke's, and I got this cool little uh, skull guy with a top hat, and he lights up two on the inside of his mouth. I thought he was really neat, and I figured he'd be cute because, like I said, it's Halloween all year round in this house, so... I thought he'd be neat to put like some coffee creamer or something, or not creamer, like the little half and half, is that creamer? I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. For coffee, the little half and half like things that you open and then you pour in, the, yeah. Uh, <laughs> those, what are those called? Mama, is it creamer? I don't know. Anyway, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about if you drink coffee. But yeah, putting that in his mouth to hold those. So super excited to put this with my coffee bar. Okay, and the last thing that I got at Burke's were these pillows. I got two of the same thing. And I love these as like little accent pillows. Um, figure they'd be cute little accent pillows. And then when I get some uh, action, not like, statement pillows. When I get some statement pillows next year, these will be cute with that. 
and of course they're going to be Halloween statement pillows. I mean that's a given. Alright so I saved the best for last um, is Marshalls. They had a ton of stuff left and it was all 50% off and I had to uh, control myself with not spending a shit ton because I would have on stuff that I really didn't need but because it's Halloween you know have to get it uh, but anyway okay so I feel so sorry for the poor girl who had to bag my stuff at the checkout because I got all things breakable and they have to use and wrap this the stuff and this paper stuff but yeah it was like seven things wrapped in that and she had to just like pull out the drawer, wrap it, pull back the drawer, put it in the bag, pull out the drawer like seven times. I felt so bad, but, um, but anyway, uh, I got this, I got these, uh, little pumpkin bowls. Um, they're from, what's the brand? I don't know why I'm suddenly looking at the brand on this stuff and not the other stuff, but I just thought these are so neat. It, the farmhouse, Rachel Ashwell, but they're, it says indoor outdoor and I'm not sure what that means they look just like bowls to me I'm gonna eat cereal out of this um, I got some Count Chocula left <laughs> but yeah uh, these are gonna be used for cereal bowls and any other type of bowl needs that we have but yeah I got these super cute okay so the next thing that I got and I actually forgot that I got this um, but still gonna be cute anyway I don't really drink espresso that often I mainly just drink like regular coffee out of a k-cup in a keurig but I got these cute it's half off but I got these cute little um, skeleton stacked cups and yeah I think these are super cute too um, probably not gonna use it for any sort of coffee but I mean, I like to have like little condiment dishes, so if I have french fries or something, I eat a lot of ketchup. I really love ketchup, so I mean, I'm down to put some ketchup in one of these and dip my french fries in there, like, that's probably what these are going to be used for, or decoration, but I like the thought of putting ketchup in ketchup in these to dip my fries in. I don't, is that weird? I don't know. The next thing that I bought from Marshalls are these cute little, uh, they're, what are they called? Three section platter. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Are these cats? I'm not sure, but it's really cute and I bought it. Um, although I don't know what these are exactly used for like if you have any sort of uh, any sort of deck not decoration are these used for decoration do you all just prop them up like this because I feel like that's probably what I'm gonna do with them because I'm not totally sure but they were just too cute not to pass up or they were too cute to pass up so that's why I got them uh, but yeah let me know how you all use these okay the next thing that I got it's this cute little fake plant uh, pot planter thing um, super cute for decoration and yeah so this is this is it and like it's just a little fake plant in a cauldron and I love it okay so you know how I was addressing the gnome spin a thing this year I ended up buying a gnome decoration because he was just too cool to pass up he's got a little cauldron with a fake plant and a little kitty cat and he's got his little purple purple shirt thing on and his little shoes okay and the last thing that i got from marshall's was this mug because i have a weakness for cups and especially halloween cups cup mug tumbler whatever it is if it's halloween themed and it's cute i'm buying it uh but it's this cute mug that says i love fall most of all yeah <laughs> wow. 
Come on, honey. What? I love you. Okay, so the next things are going to be stuff that I bought while in the Halloween season. Um, I got stuff from Spirit, I've got stuff from Walmart, and stuff from Big Lots, I think. Um, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Alright. Okay, so the first thing that I got from Spirit is this t-shirt that they have. They had a lot of, uh, well not a ton, but they had from what I've seen for the first year. Are you wanting to wear this, sir? I don't think it's your size. Own a cat, they said. It would be fun, they said. But um, I got this t-shirt. So whenever I got that shirt, I also got these trick-or-treat dish towels that have Sam on the front well Sam on this dish towel and then this design in the back with his little lollipop and his little mask thing and then his face and it also says never blow out a jack-o-lantern Always check your candy. It has all the rules and stuff on this dish towel. Yeah, I had actually never seen this movie until this year. Um, it and it's crazy like how it like came into popularity because I had no idea that it was from like 2007. Like it's an older movie, and uh, it. I don't know, it just amazes me. Does anybody know why it just suddenly came into popularity? Like, cause I never really heard of it until like, probably a couple of years back when Spirit started selling their merch and stuff. Like, is that what caused it to come into popularity or was it a thing and then they just now made merch for it? Um, if anybody knows, put in the comments because I'm not sure. Okay, another thing that I got from Spirit, um, was another set of dish towels and this is Beetlejuice dish towels and it has Beetlejuice on this side that said I'm the ghost with the most and Lydia on this side that says I myself am strange and unusual and the next Beetlejuice thing that I got are these silhouette mirrors and they just have Beetlejuice on this one and Lydia on this one and have their names at the bottom in purple. Okay, one more thing until we get into the stuff that I haven't touched for a while. So it's gonna be a surprise to me too with, <laughs> with that stuff because I have forgotten what all I've bought. So the last thing is this neon pumpkin light that I got at Five Below. I actually got this one in store when I was going to look for the Squishmallows that I couldn't find. Okay, so now on to the big box of stuff that I have no idea what's in here. So, let's start with the first one. It's in a spirit bag, but I think I might have just put this in the spirit bag. It's from Big Lots is where it's from but it's this really cute table runner. Big Lots has a lot of cute Halloween stuff. If you normally don't shop there for Halloween stuff, um, definitely go next year whenever they put their stuff out and they put it out fairly early too. But this is what I got from Big Lots. Um, it says, hey there pumpkin. And it's just a cute little table runner. Okay, the next stuff that's in this box is these Halloween signs that I believe I got from Dollar Tree. But I got this one that says welcome and it's just a bunch of potion bottles. And then I got this one. I really like this one. I think it's supposed to be, look like books maybe. 
but it says trick or treat, happy haunting, haunted houses, jack-o'-lanterns, toil and trouble, cobwebs, and black cats. Okay, so the next sign is kind of like that one, except it's got different words. This one has happy Halloween, witches, beware, spooky, boo, creepy, and haunted. Okay, the next thing that I got was from Joann's, and I have a dish towel obsession, <laughs> so it's more dish towels. But this one is a dish towel that says, time for booze and brews. And this is another dish towel that says, happy Halloween witches. But yeah, dish towel obsession. I, I have a dish towel, Halloween dish towel obsession. I'll reiterate that, a Halloween dish towel obsession. Basically any home decor that I have, dish towels, cups, it's all, it's all Halloween themed. There's a theme going on if you couldn't tell. Okay, the next thing that I got is also from Big Lots. Um, I think this is from a second trip that I had. The thing about, so the thing about Big Lots is that they put their Halloween stuff out early and they have, their stuff is pretty good. For most years that I've went, like they have really good stuff, but they also put it up super early. So it starts as like two different aisles and eventually makes its way to a very small part of an aisle. Like it's probably about like a shelf and a half worth of stuff from like two full aisles of stuff. And it's put up like way before Halloween ends. But this is one of the things that was left. It's a sign that's supposed to look like a pumpkin and it says let's get wicked on this side and let's get spooky on this side okay so the next thing is more Dollar Tree stuff um, I got this cute little tote bag that I have no idea what I'm gonna use it for but it was super cute and it was a dollar um, it says which way to the party after that, I got this cute little picture thing. I recently bought one of those three-tiered trays that a lot of people, especially people who do like Ray Dunn and stuff, I like putting these like little bitty pictures in mine that I have. But it says, have a spooktacular Halloween. And then I got these glitter bat banner, just one. So I got this glitter bat banner. <laughs> and I got another little sign. This one says home sweet haunted home. And it's in the shape of a little haunted house. And then the next things that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. And if you all have any suggestions, let me know. But I thought they were just too cute to pass up. But... They're like mini trigger treat buckets. But I got these cute little jack-o'-lanterns. And then I got these cute little cauldrons. Okay, I had to let my cat out of the other room um, because he insisted that I let him out. <laughs> so the last things in the haul are from Walmart. Um, and they're mainly going to be cups is what I see. So the first things that I got are these Halloween bamboo fiber tumblers. They're just little to-go coffee mugs. Um, super cute. This, it's got paper on it, so I don't know if you can see it. Well, maybe you can. But they're just little cats that are in pumpkins, and it says Happy Halloween. And then this one... They're like vintage style. This one has a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns, skulls, spiderwebs, candy corn, bats. And it also says, okay, it says Happy Halloween on that side too. So I got these cute little um, comes three to a pack. So three in this one, three in this one for a total of six. But they're just these cute little Halloween cups, just regular cups. This one is in a jack-o'-lantern pattern. And then this one just says spooky on it. I got this cute Halloween bowl that has a jack-o'-lantern on the front of it. 
And then on the inside, just it's got this little checkerboard pattern. Might use it for candy, might use it for cereal. My cat is currently taking a nap on the plastic bags in front of me. Bean, I gotta get the last thing, I'm sorry. Help. Okay, and the very last item that I have in this haul for you all today are these Halloween garland, kind of vintage inspired uh, little jack-o'-lanterns. Um, but yeah, super, super cute. These are actually really like good quality too. I haven't opened them yet up, opened them up, so I don't know, but I thought they were paper, but I think they might be tin because they are super, super heavy. So, I mean, actually, yeah, they are because I just saw the back. Pretty sure that they're tin or metal or something like that. Bing. Can you say bye to the people? Huh? They they know that you were in this video. He hates being held. <laughs> and uh okay, he just slinkied his way out of my grasp. Alrighty. <laughs> Are we done? Are we done? Don't show the butthole. Don't show the butthole. Trying to have the butthole. Okay guys, so that is it for my haul. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to see more videos from me, then also hit that subscribe button. Um, I don't really have like a set schedule. This is kind of just a fun thing for me to do. But thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.